We're glad we have us, Steve Okafo, MD, CEO, Kofana Securities and Investment, back online. Thank you for joining us again. Uh, looking at, uh, uh, I was asking, what do you make of the effects of the hike in the monetary policy rate, especially in the capital market? Hello, Mr. Steve. Hello, Steve. I guess uh, we're having issues. Uh, uh, one of those days, I mean, we have here. But of course, we're looking at the impact of the NPR on the stock market, particularly, of course, as um, some investors, of course, are trying to reposition their asset and portfolio, of course, given the uh, interest rate, the new interest rate by the CBN of 15.5%. Well, uh, are, you, are, you, are you back, uh, uh, Steve? Please talk to us about the impact of this NPR on the market. Please talk to us now. Yes. Um, we, we, we've seen how the CBN over time have um, increased this NPR. This year alone, we have seen by how many percentage currently they have landed at 15.5%. Now, what it means is that it's um, making a lot of um, fixed income securities to, to be more attractive to investors than, than equities, okay? Um, there's always an inverse relationship between equities and uh, money market instruments because you have to understand that the same people, that the same investors that are in the market will always look for an alternative. And equities, you are not too guaranteed of price appreciation over time. You may even uh, witness um, devaluation in your in your capital if you are not taking. So right now, as it stands, with this 15.5 percent, most investors will be more comfortable going to fixed income securities. So we we'll see we are we are going to expect a bearish run in the stock market in the, mm. in, the in the weeks ahead. Mm. Okay. I, I was wondering how, I mean, how that is going to work out for some investors. We may go that route. If you look at inflation rate at 20 point, uh, more than 20% in August. Yes. And yes. at the moment, yes. what is given in the fixed income market is around 15%. How is that adding up to them? No, no, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. No, no, I was asking you that if at the moment, I mean, the, yeah. the interest in the fixed income market is around 15% compared to yeah. what you have, especially the inflation rate, more than 20% now. How is that going to add up to them, especially with this decision? No, what, what, what we're looking at is how do they manage, how do they reduce the impact of the inflation? You understand? How do they, as an investor, if you're looking at who? Uh, money market instrument, the, the rate that money market instrument is does not really compare to the inflation. But then, going to the equity, will the, will the dividend yield and capital acquisition, are you foreseeing um, a commensurate return from that angle? If not, what do you do? You rotate your asset to the one that you know that will be closest to the inflation rate. Do you understand? So, that is why you are going to see. Most investors are going to look at, oh, why go to, why remain in the equities in the stock market when you are not so sure of um, of uh, price capital appreciation that will that will match. As long well as we are in this situation, you understand. The investors, especially, remember that the PFA are the ones are the ones making the stock market tick. Foreign investors are stands are totally out of it. And mm. the central fund administrators right now are looking at their report by December. You don't want anything that will affect, have a negative impact on that report. So what they, what they will definitely do is, oh, let's go to fixed income securities where we are sure that at least we'll get a return that is closest to, closest to the, the inflation rate. Not mm. equal to the inflation rate. Because right, we are not, no investment right now is going to equal that inflation rate. Okay. But, but so what you're saying is that we should expect more uh, bearish sentiments in the coming days, especially in the stock market. Definitely, definitely. Mm. It's selected. You see, the only stocks that we survive, you know, there's what the stocks we call defensive stocks. Those are stocks that are in the, in the, in the agricultural consumables. You understand? Mm. But then, you know that because that I was going to ask you that. I mean, given the fact that we're going to witness 
more negative sentiment in the market. How does someone who wants to take position, yes, of course, I understand that some investors will have to reevaluate their portfolio, maybe redirect yeah. some into the fixed income market, like you said earlier. But again, some are still going to re remain in the market. How yeah. do they navigate yeah. the market? How do they yeah, navigate no, the tide? No, no, this is, it is, it is, it is, it is what you need to understand is there are times like this you need to stagger your investment. When I mean stagger, let's assume if you want to put in one million. You see, at this, at this time now, we're not so sure how low it will come, how low the price will go. So, what do you do? I have, let's assume I have 10 million naira to invest in a particular stock. The, the market stock will still be okay. It's not like you will not witness the very strong, they will. Mm. Way, but remember that it, by and large, give or take, they are still going to make money from, from whichever way. Well, by either by interest charges, you understand, or whatever way, they will still go going to make money. You understand? However, let me want to bring in this other aspect of um, the increase in the in liquidity ratio. You understand? It's also going to reduce possibly the, um, the, the, the funds available for them to invest in. By and large, you have a lot of big money. So, if I want to invest in a particular banking stock, for example, I have 10 million. I don't have to put in the 10 million at once. Considering the fact that I'm looking at, you know, drop a jelly straw. I decide to put in 2 million first and see how it goes. So, you're going to be average as the prices go down. You understand? Mm. Because we know that whatever the case is, by next year, one, Dividend, dividend from this bank, for example, is not going to be too bad next year. You understand? But right. it is not a capital acquisition that is, is, is totally out of it. So okay. I start now, my investment and make sure that as the prices go down, I pick I pick more of those more, more of that, that particular stock. Mm. I understand the CBN actually took this decision to tame inflation. And uh, if you look at the, that development, is, it's expected to increase the cost of credit as well as the yield of uh, government yeah. fixed securities as well. So I was going to ask yeah. you again, um, wh what does this mean for the entire capital market? But we'll quickly take a break now. When we return, uh, then we can start from that note. Let's take a quick commercial break. It's still business breakfast. Please stay with us. Now, let's continue now. Steve Okafo is the MD CEO, uh, co-founder Securities and Investment. He joins us uh, again now. Yeah. Let's, uh, uh, I was going to ask you the, the implication of this. Of course, the cost of credit is going to go up. Banks are going to have few money uh, in, in their vote. So how do we reconcile these disparities with respect to providing losses and, of course, um, you know, or uh, interest, I mean, uh, interest of investors as well. You know, first of all, let's look at that aspect of, you know, um, you know, um, making, trying to curtail credit, trying to curtail money in circulation. You understand, based on this policy of the CPS uh, policy. Mm. Um, I, I, sometimes I, I look at it from the angle that, you know, if you want to fight inflation in Nigeria, this our inflation is a peculiar, is a peculiar inflation. It's peculiar in the sense that look at the cost, look at the, look at the basket of goods, foods that uh, households consume. Do you need right now any society to tell you that what we have is a supply chain disruption? Is a supply chain destruction. Destruction. What you are looking, what you, the, the, the approach you are using is not going to fight the inflation. Rather, we should be looking at how do we produce, how do we increase quantity of some of these consumables in the market. Do you understand? Because look at it this way. If I may ask you, <laughs> rice, vegetable, curry, and all those things, are they important? Do you understand? Right. The reason why the prices are up is that the production of these things are farmers don't have access to their farmlands. Mm. What do we do to fight increase in production so that these prices will come down? Yeah, coming to inflation, inflation, coming to the interest rates. 
There is always a reverse and inverse relationship between money market instrument and capital market. Investors will always move their funds to where they think they are, they will get the, a better return. Let me use that word, not the best, a better return. If you, as an investor, discover that the interest rates, mm. for example, let me give you the federal government savings bonds. The last federal government savings bond for three years is almost 13%. Okay. All right. Let, let's try to wrap it up. Just a, yes, just a moment because of our time. We're pressed for time now. Let's wrap it up now. It's a pre-election year. Campaign just started on Wednesday. Yes. So what next for investors who are trying to take advantage of the moment? Should they be cautious or should they, should they just uh, you know, try to reevaluate their asset? So what next for investors? What should they do? It's a combination of being cautious and evaluation. Okay. Because, you know, one thing I tell people is that next year, after the presidential election, no matter who wins, it will be better than what we are doing right now. You understand? No matter who, whoever wins, the economy will be better. So why not? Okay. This is an opportunity because this is an opportunity for, for any investor to like, oh, let me start planning for next year. And that is where the staggered investment is going okay. to play. I, you understand? I, I, I think put them in your funds at yes. once. Put them in, in bits and more of defensive stocks. Stocks, companies that are into consumables, which people will definitely, definitely consume. The okay. banking stocks are always very, very attractive at any point in time because of their expected dividend. I, I think we should leave it there. We, we probably. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, we're going to bring you back. Um, this is one subject I know that you're passionate about. We'll uh, definitely bring you back again uh, to look at these as well, providing insight for investors who may want to take advantage of the uh, tide. Well, thank you for your time, Steve uh, Okafo, MD, CEO, Kofana Securities and Investments, speaking to us there. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. You're yeah, also watching Business Breakfast and After the Break. Our searchlight is on Nigeria's health sector, an assessment of the Buhari-led administration. Well, that's our talking point next as the country marks its 62nd independence anniversary. We'll speak to you in a moment. Please stay with us.